Hi everyone and welcome back to Flex. My name is Jeanette Dierkhardt and today we will definitely be working out. So it's going to be a full workout, 25 to 20 minutes max and we will be focusing on our upper body. We're going to work on those abs, our arms and of course our back, you know, do a few workouts that would target our back muscles. But yes guys, you will have to stay tuned to find out what it, what it is that we will be doing. But as usual, we will be having the warm up first, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're going to kick it off with a lot of fun and with some, you know, a bit of more action than usual. So we're not going to do static stretches for the warm up. We will be doing dynamic warm ups. All right. So what we're going to start off with, we are going to go and bring up our leg. So bring it up. One, two. So start off one leg each and one, two, one, two. Okay. So we're going to wake up that abs and also work on our twisting with that oblique muscle and bring it up okay one two so keep it going all right okay and now we're going to go into some um folds so you're going to fold in half all right bring up that leg and let's go so you're targeting that abs, bringing up your leg and touching. 10 seconds left. Okay. So you don't have to kick too high. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. All right, there we go. So we're gonna go into a deep squat, a low squat here. If you can't, you can stay like this. We're gonna reach to the side. Okay, getting our body warm and ready for the workout. So reach to the side as you tap your feet, bringing them in, low squat, and there we go. Okay, so remember upper body guys, let's get warm and ready. So a, light, a slight jog on where you're standing. So however you jog, you can bring up those legs a bit, not too much. But just enough all right if you want to just shuffle your feet to the side that's okay there we go five seconds left three two and one okay awesome stuff guys so now we'll be going into a kind of a low thing bringing it in okay that is our warm-up so bring in that legs for 30 seconds, take it slow, there we go, 11 seconds left guys, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1, awesome stuff, so now I want you to work on that posterior tilt, so bring it in, okay, so just tilt it, as you engage your your abs all right so you're gonna tuck it in real tight and bring it forward so you really want to get that abs ready let's go five four three two and one all right so we're gonna start from the beginning again so remember what we did and one two and one, two, and one, two, let's go. Okay. So just keep it going. If you don't want to go as fast and you don't have to. One, two, and one, one, two, there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna fold in half a bit. 
So there you go. So feel the stretch as you extend. Straighten your back and touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, bring up that knee, but do the full motion. And five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome stuff. We're going to go down to that low squat and stretch it out. Okay. It's like bending your knees, guys. And there we go. 16 seconds left. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and last one. There we go. So now we're gonna go into that jog again. So you can bring up the knees if you want to. You can decide if you prefer to go for high knees, then you can do that. Or you can just lift up that legs a bit, shuffle your feet if you want to. Eight, seven, six, and five, three, two, and one. Awesome stuff, okay? So going down, bringing up that leg. Modification, try and do this. Okay, so you wanna do this for 30 seconds. Let's go. 12, 11, 10 seconds left. Bring up that leg. And five, four, three, two, and one. There we go, awesome stuff guys. That was our warm up. We are ready to go into the workout. I will see you all in a second. Alrighty, there we go. We are ready for the full workout now. So guys, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be focusing on our upper body. So we'll be doing a lot of arms and a lot of abs as well. So we're gonna start off with push-ups, okay? So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go into your push-up, whatever works for you. You wanna have proper form. So either that's gonna be the modified one, bring down, okay, or the full push-up. Okay, let's go for five seconds and four, three, two, and one. Okay, awesome stuff. Let's go into that ab, into that um, plank. Okay, so I'm gonna do a high plank right here. You can go into a, onto your elbows if you want to. But if you do this, guys, I want you to lift up, come down and actually hold it tight as you're doing this. So you want to engage your abs while you're doing this awesome stuff. So we're going to go into a mountain climber as well. So really go into it. You want to work on that arms and shoulders. So we have 15 seconds left, 10 seconds, let's go, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome stuff guys, that was awesome. Let's go down on our side and we are going to lift up into a side plank. Stack your feet and hold. Okay. I'm gonna add a few seconds on the clock so that we can have 30 seconds holding it up. If you need support, 
That would be a modification. Okay. Ten more seconds, let's go. So left, left, left. And hold it. Four, three, two, and one. Switch to the other side, guys. There we go. Okay, so you wanna lift, and we can wait a bit to get that clock onto 30 seconds again. Then we start afresh. A fresh and a new. Three, two, one, lift. Okay, so remember, modification is to have this leg down, have it all in a straight line, and hold it there. But we're gonna bring it up and hold it there. 15 seconds left, 12, 11, 10 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome stuff. Great and amazing. Let's lie down and we're going to go into a sit up. Okay, so modification. Get someone to sit on your feet or you can actually slide your feet into or underneath the couch. But we're just gonna go up, okay? So get comfortable. If you can do this without any support, go ahead and let's try this out. Okay, so come up and up, twist, okay? So you come up with a nice twist having a crunch in it. Okay, 16 seconds left. Remember to twist as you come up. Knee to elbow. 10 seconds left. And four, two, and last one. One, there we go. Okay, awesome stuff guys. So now we are gonna sit right here. Have your feet out a bit, arms up. So this one, it might look easy, but just that motion, bringing up your leg and touching it. Okay, we are gonna do some 20 more seconds. Okay, so slightly lift that leg, knee to elbow. Okay, here we go, 27 seconds. Bring it up and twist, okay. 20 seconds left, so bring it up, twist throughout, find your rhythm. I'm gonna do this last 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, two, and one. I assisted myself there, <laughs> okay. There we go guys, there you have it. For this one, we're gonna continue, don't worry. So, what I want you to do now is we're gonna do some arm movements, okay? So we are gonna do a whole um, minute of arm circles. So we're gonna rotate forward and then rotate backwards. Arm circles is a killer, don't be fooled by it. So, um, legs hip width apart and start circling. So we're starting with forward circles. So lift up your arms. Why does mine look so skew? And go. Remember, it's a whole minute. So we're gonna finish another 30 seconds going forward. So some active recovery here, guys. We're gonna tire out our arms. Four, three, two, one. Continue, last 30 seconds on the arm circle. So really tight circles. If you wanna go big, you can go big, but I want you to really focus on those arm circles. Feel it throughout your arms, up till, you know, so you wanna point it out, wanna point your fingers. 10, nine, eight seconds, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, Ooh. let's go backwards now. So you really wanna, Go backwards, change your rotation. You're gonna feel this one already. Two, min I, two minutes doing this. Definitely feel it. 15 seconds left. So I can already feel my circles are starting to get slower. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Continue, we're not stopping, but I must say it's a killer, but stretch it out a bit and let's continue. Circling back. Okay, so completely normal. You just wanna stretch out a bit. 15 seconds left. 12, 11, 10 seconds, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go, awesome stuff right there. Really, it hurts a lot. We're gonna have your arms have in a triangle position right here. We're gonna lift it, okay? So I want you to engage everything. Sit up straight, okay, and let's go. So you really want to lift through your shoulders. Let's go, three, two, and one. Alrighty, there we go, guys. So now we're gonna work on that back muscles. I want you to have your arms out in front of you and bring it up. So keep it in the air. Hold your whole body in the air. Okay. Stretch through it. So working on those arms without doing a lot of um, push-ups and stuff like that. Now we're just gonna crunch backwards. Okay. Working on that back. And also while you're doing this, really keeping your shoulders tight. 10 seconds left. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome stuff, guys. So that is what we have today for you. I hope you enjoyed that upper body workout. If you want to, you can repeat everything again continue through it all and come back again for the cool down. Alright guys, we are back and we're ready to continue. So now I want you to go up on your knees. Okay, you can stand up if you want to, no problem in that. But let's just roll our shoulders back. Okay, so really bring it up and roll it. Relax your neck, don't tense up your neck while you're doing this. This is for your shoulders. And then we're gonna move forward as well. So some static stretches here. Three, two, and one. Okay, to the front. So rolling to the front always is a bit awkward. 23 seconds. 20 seconds, let's go. So roll it out. Rolly, rolly. 12, 11, 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three two and one really feel the stretch in the shoulders awesome stuff so now we're gonna go and lean back holding our feet so if you can't do this we have something higher just to stretch that lower back out as well and go so definitely feeling that back crack a bit eight seven seconds left so just having that arching back, feeling the stretch. Okay, awesome stuff. Now we're gonna go into a child's pose, all right. So really go down with this, feel the stretch in your pose, okay. Walk out with your fingers and deep in you go. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's go into a pigeon pose right here. Okay, this is not a pigeon pose. This is a, I'm not sure if this is a downward dog, but we're just gonna keep it there and stretch it. So, you really wanna lift up this your pelvis while you're at it. Stretch through everything. And there we go. Two and one, awesome stuff. And now we're going into a pigeon pose. This one is a pigeon pose, guys. And there we go. So now you're obviously going to feel the stretch into your lower back. Um, not just your lower back, but also that side glute. The glute that you're stretching, that hamstring. If your muscles are really tight, you're going to feel the tightness. Two and one. Okay, now I'm going to stretch the other side as well. Pigeon pose. I don't know why they call this the pigeon pose. I'm sure there is a, it's a yoga movement and all the yoga movement have different names. Really interesting to look up and to learn more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And go up, stretch out that back a bit again. Hold it there. 20 seconds, let's go. So the whole point of this is to, you know, stretch out everything, although you have not worked on, let's say your glutes a lot today, but you really want to stretch it out as well. Because if you keep on stretching, you will just, will just benefit yourself, all right? And there we go. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had some fun with that workout and I hope to see you all next time again. That is it from me, Jeanette Dierkhardt. Goodbye from now and from the Flex team. From the Flex team, bye.